Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel NCRT Maths Hub. Today in this video, we will do worksheet number 34, class 9 subject mathematics. So today our topic is experimental probability. Especially we will do some problems based on the experimental probability as we have already discussed about the experimental probability in the previous video so that you can watch that video. So let's begin. So required previous knowledge is understanding of experimental probability that we have already discussed in the previous video. So children, you know that to calculate experimental probability of an event, we use the formula PE that is probability of an event equals to number of cases favorable to the event E upon total number of cases or you can say total number of outcomes. So let's do first example. A tire manufacturer company kept a record of distance covered before a tire needed to be replaced. The table shows the result of 1000 cases. So distance in kilometer we are given in the first row and frequency of tires in the second row. So less than 4000 tires are replaced. Dekhi, less than 4000 kilometer. Dekhi, kya hai? Frequency ka charge are kilometer se distance aapka kam hai. To hume kya hai? Frequency ki hai tires ki replacement ki 20 hai. So if the distance is 4000 to 9000, the replacement of tire is 210 and 9000 to 14000 then the replacement of tires is 325 and more than 14,000 km distance hai uske liye replacement tires ki kitni hai 445 so if you buy a tire of this company what is the probability that it will need to be replaced before it has covered 4,000 km dekhi charge aa kilometer se kam distance ke liye aapko replacement karni hai to iski probability kya hogi to jaise ki aap dekh sakte hain table se ki less than 4,000 ke liye aapko replacement kitni karni hogi 20 tires ki so 20 upon kya ho jayega total number of जो हमारे पास टायर्स हैं जो टोटल नंबर ऑफ जो केसेस हमारे पास कितने हैं 1000 है सो so 20 अपॉन 1000 कर देंगे आप सो so आपको फ्रीक्वेंसी उस प्रोबेबिलिटी आ जाएगी सो इट विल लास्ट मोर देन 9000 किलोमीटर सो देखिए इट विल लास्ट मोर देन 95 95 uh, 90000 किलोमीटर सॉरी 9000 किलोमीटर सो देखिए 9000 325 plus 445 add कर देंगे total जो कि हमारे पास 1000 replacement है उसके according हम उसे divide कर देंगे so next it will need it will need to be replaced after it has covered some somewhere between 4000 km to 14000 देखिए 4000 to 14000 means we have two cases that is 210 plus 325 so इनको add कर लेंगे और हमें क्या करना होगा total 1000 से divide करना होगा so let's begin the solution देख सकते हैं total number of tires हमारे पास कितने हैं 1000 है the frequency of tire that needs to be replaced before it covers 4000 km is 20 so probability tire to be replaced before it covers 4000 km will be 20 upon 1000 जैसा कि आप देख सकते हैं 20 upon 1000 will be 1 by 500 यहाँ देखिए mistake कर रखा है actually यहाँ पे ये देखिए 1 by कितना बनेगा हमारे पास जैसा कि आप देख सकते हैं 1 by 50 बनेगा so that this will be 0.02 so आप देख सकते हैं so the frequency of tire that will last more than 9000 will be 325 plus 445 that is 770 so probability that will last more than 9000 km will be 770 upon 1000 so that this will be 77 upon 100 that is 0 0.77 the frequency of a tire that requires replacement between 4000 km and 14000 km will be 210 plus 325 that is 535 so the probability requiring the replacement between 4000 and 14000 km will be 535 upon 1000 that is total number of trials so 107 upon 200 and this will be 0 0.535 so this is all about example number one so now proceed for example number two the record of weather station shows that out of past 250 consecutive days its weather forecast were correct 175 times correct kitna tha? 175 times correct tha. So, आप, आप total आपका कितना है आपके पास 250 times आपने forecasting किया है. So, what is the probability that on a given day it was correct? So, correct की probability आपको find out करनी है. Total number of trials हमारे पास जो हैं वो कितने हैं? Total number of days जो हमारे पास कितने हैं 250 हैं. और आपने जो correctness है वो कितना 175 times है. तो incorrectness कितना हो जाएगा? 250 minus 175 कर लेंगे. That is incorrectness जो आपने solve जो faulty result show किया है, not correct जो result है हमारे पास वो कितना हो जाएगा? 75. So, what is the probability that on a given day it was correct? and second we are to find what is the probability that it was not correct on a given day 
so the solution the total number of days for which the record is av available is 250 so first part is the probability that the forecast forecast was correct on a given day is 175 upon 250 that is 7 upon 10 so this will be 0 0.7 and the number of days when the forecast was not correct equals to 250 minus 175 that is 75 so the probability that the forecast was not correct on a given day will be 75 upon 250 that is 3 upon 10 so this will be 0 point zero point three. So notice that probability that forecast was correct on a given day plus probability that forecast was not correct on the given day is equals to 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3 equals to 1. So the key probability of an event plus probability of not an event equals to kya hota hai? 1. Hota hai. Keep in mind that we have already studied in the previous videos. You can watch that video from the playlist. So now we have two questions for practice. So move ahead for solution. You can see first one is consider the frequency distribution table given below which gives the weight of 38 students of a class so we have given weight of 38 students of a class and weight in the intervals 31 to 35 36 to 40 41 to 45 46 to 50 51 to 55 and 56 to 60 and 61 to 65 and number of students in the interval 31 to 35 are 9 similarly 36 to 40 are 5 41 to 45 are 14 and 46 to 50 are 3 and 51 to 55 are 2 and 56 to 60 are 1 and 61 to 65 are 4. So find the probability that the weight of a student in the class lies in the interval 46 to 50 kilogram. So, and next we are to find the probability that the prob weight of a student is more than 50 kilogram. So you can see that the result is clear. Hai. Total number of students we have 38 and in the interval 46 to 50 we have 3 students only. So required probability will be 3 upon 38 and for the more than 50 kilogram we will count all the last 3 entries that is 2 plus 1 plus 4. So let's begin for the solution. So total number of students we have 38. The number of students having weight in the interval 46 to 50 kilogram is equals to 3 you can see here. So the probability that a student has weight in the interval 46 to 50 kilogram equals to kya ho jayega? Favorable outcome by total possible outcome. So favorable humar paas kitne 3 hai or total kitne 38. So 3 upon 38. Similarly, the number of students who has weight more than 50 kilogram equals to kitna humar paas 7 ho jayega. Jisak humne dekha discuss kiya bhi. So probability that a student has weight more than 50 kilogram will be equals to 7 upon 38. So this is all about question number 1. So now proceed for question number 2. To know the opinion of students about the game football, a survey of 200 students was conducted. The data is recorded in the following table. The opinion, like and dislike we have. A number of students who likes the football are 135 and students who li dislikes the football are 65. So find the probability that the student chosen at random likes football and does not like football. Think you randomly means choose karne hai bina puche kisi se kya ki who likes football and who dislikes football so total number of students hamare paas kitne hai 200 so total number of students 200 number of students who like football equals to 135 so probability of student who likes football equals to 135 upon 200 so this will be 27 upon 40 27 5 ja 135 and 45 ja 200 so aapne 5 se cancel kar diya so 5 is the scf of 135 and 200 so that we will have 27 upon 40 in the list form so now for the second part you can see number of students who dislike the football are 65 so therefore probability of the student who does not like football will be 65 upon 200 so that is 13 upon 40 13 5 is 65 and 45 is 200 so make a milja list form 13 upon 40 so note that up the probability of students who likes football plus probability whose dis dislikes the football equals to 1 means 27 by 40 plus 13 by 40 equals to 1 that is 40 by 40 equals to 1 so aap dekh sakte hain probability of an event plus probability of not an event equals to kya hota always 1 hota so that keep in mind so this is all about worksheet number 34 so if you learn from this video then please do subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can thanks for watching